Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about shell aliases and a little trick that I learned from my Twitch chat a while ago, a long time ago now, uh, on how to bypass them. Uh, but also I'm gonna show you a less magical way to bypass them as well. Anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so quick refresher on aliases in shells. Uh, if you use the alias keyword, you can make a command do textual substitution when you run it later. So if we made a command such as uh, hello, which is alias to echo hello, hello. Now when I type hello on the command line, it's going to run this directly. Uh, aliases are a textual substitution, so you can also put uh, names or, or more arguments afterwards, such as if I put a name here, uh, it'll pass this argument along and expand out this thing here. Um, okay, aliases, fine. Uh, the problem is if you wanted to run something that was uh, also an alias, but also a command, for instance, I have an alias for nano, which aliases to my text editor, Babby. I used to use nano. I have broken muscle memory that <laughs> means I continue to type nano, even though I'm not using nano anymore. But occasionally I actually want to run nano and it's a little bit annoying to type slash bin nano or, or something else like that. Uh, the recommended way to do this is to use the command shell built in. Uh, and if you do command nano, this will always run a specific command. It won't run an alias. If you do this, you'll see we get nano here. Uh, just to show you typing nano gives me babby uh, as well. But a little trick that I've learned to bypass alias lookup is to escape any of the characters in the command. So for instance, backslash nano will also open up nano instead of babby. And in fact, you could backslash any of these characters and it does the same thing. I actually don't know why this happens. So if anyone actually knows, I would love to hear it in the comments. Uh, but I, I use this trick all the time to bypass shell aliases. Uh, there's a few other built-ins in, in specifically in bash that are similar to this command one. Uh, like there is a built-in function. So if you do built-in cd slash, uh, this will always run the built-in and it'll bypass any functions or aliases as, as well. So if you were you know, writing a, a shell script and maybe you're dealing with something which overrides CD, you could use this to ignore whatever weird overrides happen there. Um, but that's just a, a similar thing to command. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.